Jeffrey Egling is accused of speeding through a red light at 144th and Harrison that December night, striking a car carrying 14-year-old Trevor Canada, who later died at the hospital. Trevor's father suffered severe injuries to his entire body. The actions were so egregious uh, that we thought we would add these additional charges, and the law supports us to add these additional charges. Egling is now facing a manslaughter and second degree assault charge. In addition to the motor vehicle homicide charge he was already facing. Investigators say they interviewed nearly a dozen witnesses, including one couple who told police Egling's vehicle nearly hit them just before the accident. I believe this other vehicle was coming up on him at least 60 miles per hour. It wasn't entirely in the other lane of traffic. So he had to swerve on the shoulder. In court Friday, Douglas County prosecutors say car recorder data showed Egling was going 67 miles per hour at the time of the crash and that there was alcohol found in his car at the scene. Prosecutors say evidence shows Egling's blood alcohol content was 0 0.103 about three hours after the crash when they finally located Egling. His defense attorney says the state cannot prove Egling didn't drink that alcohol after the crash. There's absolutely nothing in the record um, to indicate that what his BAC was at the time of the accident. The fact that even a couple hours later, uh, he's still over the legal limit uh, gives us plenty of evidence to work with there. If convicted on all charges, Egling could be sentenced to more than 90 years in prison.